Paths and Mask Pro. All right, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about using Mask Pro's little brother, Mask Pro Select. If you've ever gone to the On One menu, you've probably noticed Mask Pro and Mask Pro Select side by side, and they work a little bit differently from each other. Mask Pro is going to paint away to transparency or create a layer mask. Mask Pro Select, on the other hand, is going to create a selection. And there's times when you'd rather use a selection or you'd rather use a mask. Most of the time, I prefer to use Mask Pro and create a mask. Even if I'm just trying to do a complex selection, I'll create duplicate layers and mask one into the other. Now, there is a very common case when I like to use Mask Pro Select, and that's if I'm doing knockouts or if I need to create a clipping path around an object that's going to be used in a page layout application, and I need to make sure that I remove the background completely so that it can float on a new background or have copy wrap around it. So I'm going to show you a very quick way to do product knockouts using Mask Pro Select. Go ahead and open your image in Photoshop and then launch Mask Pro Select. Now as long as you photograph on a clean white background, this technique will work pretty well. Start off using the Magic Wand tool. Make sure that the transition and threshold are set all the way to soft and more, and then go ahead and click on the white background. Now in Mask Pro Select, Rather than seeing the background move to transparent, you're going to see a red ruby lith style mask appear instead. It's often better to work in mask view once you've made this initial selection. There we go. We can now see our edge in black and white. Let's zoom in and take a quick look around. Now you might notice along the edge we have a little bit of noise. This is a great time to use the magic bucket tool just by double clicking on the icon to remove any speckles. This can be caused by dust on our digital camera sensor or it can also be caused by small pieces of dust on the background. If there were any white colors in the interior of the shoe, I could just use the regular brush tool to paint those areas in or paint those areas back out. Once we have the basic mask refined, go ahead and hit apply to send it back to Photoshop. Now you'll notice that you have a selection of marching ants around the shoe now rather than having the white background removed like we would if we'd used regular Mask Pro. Now the key to making a path in Photoshop starts out with having a selection and that's the reason we use Mask Pro Select instead. Now to make that work path go up to the On One menu, go to Mask Pro Select and use the Mask Pro Make Work Path command. The quality of the work paths created by Mask Pro Make Work Path are greater than those created through Photoshop natively. They allow you to easily contract or expand your selection in small amounts, as well as alter the frequency of control points to wrap very difficult edges. I'm going to start by tightening up my selection just a little bit and making sure that my tolerance is set fairly low. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now I'm going to turn my selection off. Now let's take a look at our paths palette. I'm going to zoom in really close so you can see the difference. Right now, we have the work path created using Mask Pro selected. I can also toggle to a path I've made earlier using Photoshop. You'll notice that the path created by Photoshop has a lot of white spaces left over. And if I was to composite this into a new background, we would see a white gap around the shoe. Whereas when we look at the path created by Mask Pro, it's a much cleaner, tighter path. Let's show you the difference. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. We use the Photoshop path to make a new selection. Now let's go ahead and fill the area outside the selection with black. There we go. Now you can see that there's a white gap all the way around the shoe caused by the path created by Photoshop not being as accurate. Now let's activate the path that we created using Mask Pro and repeat the same procedure. I'm going to go ahead and convert it to a selection and I'm going to fill the area outside of it with black. You can see how the white edge disappears and how even these very small nubs were zoomed into a 200% here appear nice and clean against that solid black color background. This is going to allow you to create a high quality clipping path that will allow you to place this image into a page layout application like Adobe InDesign or, or Quark Express and have it float over a new background seamlessly and allow you to wrap text around it in a very tight clean manner.